Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about the religious reasons people give for circumcision. And I want to refute those and how there's no excuse for circumcision religion or otherwise. So the largest group of people in the United States is uh, Catholics and various other Christians. And as a whole, we can see from the Bible itself, you know, at the Council of Jerusalem in the Acts of the Apostles, they said circumcision was not required. The New Testament has multiple references where it says that the old law of the Jews is no longer required for Christians. And like I mentioned, the Council of Jerusalem talks about this and it was decided there, first century, circumcision not necessary. So any Christian that wants to try to claim that they're doing it for religious reasons, they have no religious standing, unless they completely have nothing to do with the Bible, um, which in, in that case, how can they be Christians? So um, no religious reasons for circumcision. Uh, for Catholics, there have been additional things throughout the centuries, various councils, church documents have condemned it, have said it was a practice uh, that had nothing to do with Christianity. Uh, as recently as Pope Benedict XVI said it is not a sign of our Christian salvation. Uh, I don't have the exact quote, but something to that extent. So for Christianity, there is absolutely no reason for circumcision. Anyone who gives that as a reason either doesn't understand their religion or is just giving that as an excuse. So let's, let's not uh, use religion as an excuse to, to perform this act, which no business, no person has a biz business doing it to another. The foreskin belongs to the boy himself. When he is an adult, if he wants to get circumcised, then so be it. But if he has grown up learning what an awesome part of the body it is, then he's not going to choose it. Anybody that does choose it as an adult, it's often because they were made fun of, or they were made to feel dirty, or weird, or anything like that. And that's, bullying is not a reason for circumcision either. So let, let's not use the Bible or any other unfounded reason uh, from religion to try to claim that circumcision is what we do. There, there's just no excuse for it. Uh, the foreskin deserves the same respect as any other part of the body. And we would never dream of cutting off an earlobe or cutting off a finger just because. People would be up in arms if parents were doing that. But yet the foreskin, people think people are weird who have their foreskin or who tell people that they shouldn't be cutting off the foreskin. Those are the people that are considered weird? How, how odd is that? Uh, no, the foreskin is an essential part of the body. It's a healthy part of the body. And religion is not a reason to remove it. Anyone who claims uh, as a Christian of any denomination, claims that they have a religious reason for circumcising, then they clearly do not know their religion at all. Save the foreskin. It's an awesome part of the penis.